and welcome to Critical Tumble, where a bunch of longtime friends and internet nerds transcend geography through the power of Discord to play Dungeons and Dragons and critically fumble a lot. Previously, gang went back to Hearthhome to, uh, at the behest of one Rylan, uh, try to deal with some of the shit going on west of Equitas instead of starting more shit in Equitas itself. Because y'all be like that sometimes. But uh, currently they're dealing with some last minute bits and pieces in um, you know, in Goldendale before they start heading in the direction of Grey's Inn to attempt to deal with uh, the uh, Varidel, the great white dragon currently perched uh, on top of Grey's Inn. Uh... Most of the rest of y'all had headed in the general direction of town to uh, meet Jenna um, and get something of Rylan's charmed for Lyra. They did the latter, not so much the former. But before we go into that, um, Antheus uh, was basically left to have some time with Farida because if memory serves me correctly, there was going to be some discussion, and at least part of it involved um, questions about the night she died. Which is at least part of why everybody left for herself alone. So that was the morning, and I'm just wondering how, how he wants to phrase this, and I can drop cliff notes on his head. Uh, we cannot hear you. I didn't say anything. <laughs> okay, sorry. It looked like it, it was a mouthing. Thing. It was a it was a deep breath and then. Ah, okay. <laughs> it's hard to tell. I'm I'm used to anytime somebody moves and I'm not moves their mouths and I'm not hearing anything. It it flashes me to Ethan who sat on the mute button again. Ah. <laughs> uh... Oh. Um. phrase something like that you know it's been like the better part of a month and yeah. you ought to have known that I would have brought this up I, I, I've it's okay not all of our characters live in our heads rent free um Well, if it, if it uh, helps, Faraday would have asked an awful lot of questions about his trip. Yes, I, I mean, there, there's snow here, but it's not real snow, and haven't seen it in, like, forever. And, and I hear things. And I could tell you what I've been doing for the last few weeks, but it's probably really boring compared <laughs> to what you've been up to. Uh, let's see, um... As he's being more or less unusually <laughs> quiet, and given Froseth probably letting her tell about what she's been up to the last few weeks while he's part listening and part trying to get his head around what it is he wants to ask, he does, due to a fairly observant Farida, get, you want to ask me about something really touchy, don't you? Yeah. The, uh... Uh, well, uh, we, we, specifically when we were getting away and you saved me, to put it, yeah. I was, I was thinking it had to be that because it, you're, I mean, you're normally quiet, but that's probably the one thing that would get you with that face. So, do you want to know exactly what happened that night, or about the people who? came before and then came back with the nasties. 
because that's what happened. We had visitors for a little while. They got caught in the snow, and well, they said they got caught in the snow. So we were we were, we were really hospitable sorts of people. So we brought them in, warmed them up. They were apparently really interested in what we were doing, and and you know me, I listen at things. So I was hoping to have them. I was hoping to hear them talk about where they came from and have it compared to where they were because I didn't really know where to start asking the questions because there were so many questions. Yeah. Um, mostly they were talking about that this was this was the place at the time I thought it must be a nice place to study new cultures, but then they started talking about digging and I didn't really understand, but they had to go. So we gave them supplies and they were supposed to come back and then they came back with an army of black crud. I think they wanted to dig where we were living. Okay. That makes a certain amount of sense. So do you want to know more about the people or the gribbly? Or both? Both. Okay, well, um, the... There were two, I think, humans. I mean, they looked human. That doesn't always signify. Um, one of them was a blonde lady. I think she was the one in charge. She was ordering people around an awful lot. I think she was trying not to, but she had that I am the boss of everybody look. Okay. Not, 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 not the nice one like, like Miss Miranda has. Yeah. The other, the other one. I'm not really entirely sure that was what he looked like. There was always something a little bit different about how he looked. Sometimes his hair wasn't quite the right shade, and sometimes the the the, the face was you know, different shape of nose and things like that. So I'm pretty sure that he was under a disguise. Also, his voice was wrong for that kind of throat. His voice was more like. Our voice. Okay. Okay. So probably our kind of throat, but magic. Yeah. Okay. And the 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 army was. And I told you about the bear dog things that weren't so much fur as kind of drippy. Yeah. But there was also... They looked like dwarves, but they weren't dwarves. Not the kind of dwarves I know. I mean, they were short like dwarves. But and I didn't see very much because it was dark when they all came, but... We see a lot of different skin tones on dwarves, but not gray. Okay. Yeah, they didn't want the... They didn't want the houses or anything. Collateral damage was... Uh... Kind of encouraged, as far as I could tell. Knock, they knocked a lot of things down, but we don't think it didn't sound like they were killing everybody. Only the little ones and the old ones. No, they were trying to send us away. Although I think getting caught was probably worse. From the look on your face, okay, what happens to the ones who got caught? I'm sorry, you have a very intelligent little sister. Yes. <laughs> little yes, big sister. She <laughs> is. Please uh, uh, You really don't want to tell me, do you? <laughs> <laughs> you, you? You probably deserve to know, but I really don't want to say it. Oh. Uh, they don't just die, they get icky, don't they? Yeah. 
I don't entirely know what that means. I'm not entirely sure I wanna. I, I, I suspect kind of like how the dwarves you saw were not dwarves, something similar. Like, like Miss Shanira's people? Yeah. I mean, because apparently there were some long, long time ago, because I, I used to read history, and the, 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 the deep down dwarves used to be okay, and then we didn't hear about them, just the, just the ones that were kind of okay with being above ground sometimes. And, and, and kind of, kind of, kind of like the, the, the drow that used to be nice and then there weren't. But they don't turn into the kind of sludgy that you talk about with your adventuring fellows sometimes. No. I, I don't think so, no. Well, I'm glad I wasn't old enough to get grabbed and gooed then. Yeah. I think getting munched is probably the better thing at that point. But I'm glad, really, really glad you got away. And I can't thank you enough for that. So they're digging up home. Probably have been for a long time now then. Probably. What are they digging for? You don't want to tell me that either! <laughs> it's gonna be more of the goo, isn't it? That, that's, that's what I assume. The goo. Why were we parked on top of goo? Were we like defenders or something except long enough ago that we'd never heard about it? Or I was just too young to know? Probably I was just too young to know. I'm too young to know everything. <sighs> I was born 20 something years ago and I'm still too young to know anything. <laughs> He's gonna hug oh, her boy. there. Sorry, it's just frustrating. Uh, understandable. So, they named the mountain after us, and not us after the mountain. If we're rhyme hooks. I think so. Yeah. I always thought that, because the, the mountain we were under had... This outcropping. I was always worried it was going to fall on somebody, but it never did. It was this, this, this kind of like really, really big icicles that look kind of like claws. But, you know, rhyme hook. So I thought that maybe we took our name from the place, but no, I guess we moved to a place that suited our name. That's just weird. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I was an omen. Omens are always weird. <laughs> are we destined for something? We? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> well, our family line is probably destined for something. <laughs> Uh, yeah, at this point, it wouldn't surprise me. We're the last ones left, except for a ghosty thing in a library and and, and and the governor lady, and she's too busy governing to be fulfilling prophecies. I'm yeah. assuming that that got passed along, because I'm not going to make you roleplay that. Yeah, yeah. So, if the, 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 if they're digging up nasties, were maybe still I don't know how long it takes to dig up nasty. Ah, oh, that's a good I'm, question. I'm too young to be a a a, a warrior for destiny. <laughs> I'm not supposed to be too young to be a warrior for destiny, but I am anyway. I'm sorry. I guess it means that you're the one who's gonna have to be a warrior for destiny if we are. Prophecy is weird. Oh, well, life is weird, so. 
on the subject of 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 life is weird. Uh, uh, we get uh, Froseth gets voice in. Uh, uh, gets Alsei's voice uh, messaging. Just uh, we're dropping by to see Jenna to ask about awakening uh, weapons. Come ask, ride Legolas. Hey. I, I, I think I'm being called to join the others to speak with Jenna. Okay. Um, I'm going to go help the others because I, I think everybody knew that we needed to have a conversation that was going to involve me yelling. So uh, <laughs> they distracted everybody by, you can keep a secret. You don't talk very much. There's going to be a celebration thingy for the marrieds. <laughs> so I'm going to go help prepare for that. It'll take my mind off prophecy weird. Also, it grabs hug. <laughs> Have fun. Say hi to Jenna for me. Will do. Pat, 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 pat. And yeah, Legolas is being looked at by a few of the kids, particularly Evan, who's kind of hanging over the uh, over the edge of one of the stalls, just nope. watching, <laughs> not doing anything, just. <laughs> Tilts head over in both this direction. Point. All right. Nearly falls over. Moose. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I can't do that one handed. <laughs> <laughs> no, moose. Yeah. Go to check on the moose then. Yeah. It, 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 Legolas is just sort of looking at you like they're all staring at me. Are you going to do something about this? <laughs> <laughs> uh, well. I, I, I guess it's time for me to go there. <laughs> you, 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 you get sort of Evan and uh, Dawn. Keth just going, you're, you're going to ride the moose. I'm going to ride the moose. <laughs> like Legolas is just like, as long as you get me out of here, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> That's up, yeah. Um, you've, you've ridden one of the moose before, so on to moose and you, trots out of the barn and just you know, gives a very brief tensing that given first as passive perception means, hold on, I'm about to do something impressive. <laughs> <laughs> I'm assuming clinging happens. Yeah. And does that, you know, hi ho silver way rear nice. and then clump <laughs> of a bit top moose speed. Not paying very much attention to things like roads because Legolas doesn't have to. There's snow. He's just plowing right through that. And given faint, how Yeah, and faintly as 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 Legolas is tromping through the snow. You you hear fading very quickly. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't take nearly so long to get to uh, to Goldendale, the town, as uh, as 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 it has on you know on foot. You're not entirely sure you could have managed that uh, at your top running speed. And so, yeah, you guys are coming out of the uh, out of the multi faith shrine, and a couple of minutes later, you start to hear. I I you know I was calling for Seth because we 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 wanted he might have wanted to talk to Jenna. I told him he could ride legs. Oh. And the trump 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 gets louder. <laughs> And, and yeah, he, you could see Legolas from a fair ways off. He's that, a mish, that, yeah. that, that's <laughs> like a lot of moves. Especially with, with, with Silver Dragon born glinting in the sun on top. <laughs> and, snow drifts? What snow drifts? Just. Yeah, and he sort of stops on a dime in front of Alice. But, but that much space between Legolas's nose and her head. It's. <laughs> gesture is what Barnabas and Remy recognizes. Good job, legs. <laughs> <laughs> so, did you enjoy top speed moose ride? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
uh, so how how was how was conversation with the uh, with with big little sis? Where uh, big sis? eventful. It, it it it's well something we'll have to talk about in 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 Fort Cupcake where it's warmer. Yeah, yeah. Because, well, well you know, for these, details these there. Guys, yeah, for these guys, yeah. it's. I mean, it's 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 fun and all talking and when all wrapped in fur, but uh, it kind of feels like showing off at that point, doesn't it? <laughs> A little bit. <laughs> uh, so, okay, uh, legs. Um, I just have a quick <laughs> leans back into the shrine. Um, you guys have kind of a stable where we can park a moose, right? And you hear Eston just what? Eston stomps out into the cold and just looks at the thing. Of, uh, Moose don't get that big or that white. Not here, they don't. <laughs> and it, Lyra is just... Just lead the animal to the paddock. Does he like apples? Do you know? Try him on one. I don't think he's ever seen one. <laughs> Maybe I'll try him on three. That's a lot of no's. <laughs> and yeah, Estan is just... And now I'm leading a... I don't think you even call something this big moose anymore. Legolas just... What? <laughs> that! <laughs> Be polite. To the what Evan calls the war moose. <laughs> just at this point, just walks up, gestures to the moose. Come along, then. Picks his way. So yeah. Um, sorry if I interrupted, but to uh, weapons thing. Dinner I'm not time. I'm not entirely sure what everybody's going to ask, but I think it's mostly. Mostly for the look on Rylan's face, I think, when he when you know, he they meet Jenna, because that that seems to be the primary driving force behind all this. But I was just going to assume everybody who had a weapon that awakened was probably going to want a word or a thank you or something. Don't worry, she's no okay. Actually, yeah, she is exactly as scary as she looks, but she's not going to harm you. Yeah, usually the one on the rack is me. <laughs> Coat rack. <laughs> I'm keep, just keep, way already. Keep, yeah, it, 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 Alice it just it puts a hand between Rylan shoulder braids and nudges him along. It's just, I, I just thought I should specify because you know Hazel doesn't seem to uh, have have. Then again, you might not even know of the existence of other kinds of racks. Sorry to have uh, of, of, of disrupted your blissful ignorance. More confused. <laughs> uh, I'm not telling. Breathe, breathe, or I will eat you into a snowbank. Thank you. And then. Uh, I'm assuming Hazel, since Hazel's in the lead, you reach the door of a... And Ryland doesn't know how big smithies are supposed to be, but it's not a very big building. There is smoke coming out of the chimney, however. Shave and haircut. Two bits. Opens. And, yeah, they've they've shown you, uh, they've shown you silent image of this woman. She's more imposing in person. She's 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 in her sixties, but she's still is she tall, she buff, and she has that winter soldier ish arm. You got a new one. How have you traumatized this poor individual? I think he came almost Are you gonna do this? Friends I chose this actually. All right, everybody get in, because apparently introductions have got to happen. Yeah, you are in... You, you are in a small blacksmith shop. 
the sort of door off to the back um, door that probably leads to stairs behind a counter. But this part of it at least looks like just the sort of place that apparently people have horseshoes, farming implements, that kind of thing made. Although, around the forge, you'll see a little bowl of uh, what appear to be some kind of uh, bark shavings, given your background. That seems to be some kind of uh, uh, some kind of beach. Uh, little bits of salt. A uh, couple of other bits and pieces that are not as readily identified. Uh, a cleric of the forge. I worship it rather than any of the gods that have used it. So, uh, you got a name? Rylan. Hi. Pleasure to meet you. Um, Likewise. are you... Are you... Uh, did... Not that I'm not pleased to meet you, but was there any particular reason you needed to meet me, or was this just being press-ganged? Do you need me to throw a weapon at him? Not in a harmful kind of way. <laughs> <clears throat> the elf is error. <laughs> you probably all are, el are, are error. That question was basically asked to the lot of you. Somebody who's got words. Yes, we would like to, to do, talk you know. to you about weapons. That's not specifically the. That's well, not specifically the question I asked. Yes. I mean, I'm I'm not sure what arsenal you have uh, already running, but given we're going to be fighting dragons, that might be an idea. Again. Mm -hmm. The one that's currently on Gray's Inn. All right, that start with. We're running down the list. Yep. Ah, oh, glorious. Bill. So, all right, what do you have and what do you use? A this very much drink. Yeah. But I have a small like crossbow and a like a small little staff I fight with sometimes if people get too close. Right. I'm going to have to have a look and see if I've got anything better than you've got. I haven't worked with with, with staves in a while, but uh, I'll probably, probably womp up something, depending. But since we'll, we'll table that one for the moment, I answer the rest of this, because apparently there's... More in-depth questions than that. Looking at Remy at this point, you've clearly got something up. Uh, I did want to show you something that did happen recently. Weapon-related. And then she will step up and so hold up, summon her sword and hold it up. Ah, I woke up, right. Yes, yes, it did. Well, it's not necessarily a given that they're gonna. Mm. I know, I was kind of hoping it would, but uh, it's all about will and intent, whether it's actually gonna. And I think uh, Ash was probably the first one I made that was capable of that, but it's capable of that on a limited scale. You know, you're at the forge that created life, or a smaller version thereof. You don't run right out to, and start with humans, because, well, humans, elves, etc. We're all as complicated as shit. Up here and everywhere else. So you start with something a little smaller and a little less complicated. So, Ash might wake up, depending on how and when you use it. I'm not. 100% sure what it'll do, when and if it does, but again, that's because, you know, if life always happened exactly the way you said it should happen, life would be 
very calm, but also very boring. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, anybody else? Broseth will show his sword. Ah. So we'll can too. Yep. And what do they do? Looking at them is pretty, but... Uh... Wall of fire, a wall of stone, wall of ice, and a wind wall. Ah, protective. You? Looking at Remy. It, um... I can use the... Um, I guess it's a defensive enchantment in a sense that blocks one element of a, a dragon's magic, but only one at a time. Oh, who knows? You might you might get lucky if it exalts. Glances. Hopefully. In. Look, I can't I can't say. I just made them. What they do after that is none of me. It's like Fair if enough. it's like if Palo one hundred percent guided every single aspect of your life. I, I understand. The glance is in Alice's direction and going. Why do your braces and boots match your swords? Well, apparently there was a a, a a leather worker who was really impressed with you. And he made these to go with your uh, with, with with your scimitars. And you retired before he finished. Do they work? Hmm? Son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there you go. What about the rest of you? Speaking of Ash, it I tend not to use it that much because I have other daggers that do more damage and it does a neat trick and it returns to me, but I have now a belt that does so the I know. same thing. I, I gave you the belt. It was yes. Brandon gave you the... So, I mean, I I would love it if it did something, but it I don't use it, and I feel like maybe it won't if I don't use it, but... No, no, no. Depends on what you're using it for, probably. Currently, decoration. <laughs> I'm not sure that qualifies as using it. No, see, that's my problem. It's, I mean, I like it, and I'm holding on to it, but I don't use it because it seems not useful enough in a combat situation. Well, how is it going to know what you need it to do if you don't? I didn't know. I didn't even know it could <laughs> awaken until just now. I I knew it was, you know, nifty, but I didn't know it did things. All right, Alice turns around to Remy. So when you told me about the conversation you had with Zeriel that named the named weapons that could awaken and potentially exalt, and named Ash as one of them. You told me, but you didn't tell everybody else? Wow, so there was one missing. So do we not know that some of the... All of them no, so you, you know that some of them do, it's just that Remy was not as complete about the, the, the naming, but Ash was very specifically mentioned. So yeah, Alice is just. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, uh, Jenna just looks. So a uh, god's right hand told you a thing, and you forgot. He's told me a few things <laughs> over the <laughs> last few weeks, and we've collected a lot of other information lately.
uh, and Alice is just, is this when it's lucky that you married a bard? Among other reasons, I'm very lucky, yes. I'm just saying for the dissemination of information, it, it, it seems mm -hmm. to be a thing. <laughs> Not that it didn't register when you first walked in, but... Okay, you've got that look that says, ask me about this one more time and I'm going to punch someone. <laughs> well, I'm sure that would be entertainment for the masses. Uh, probably not. How cheeky is she going to be? Incredibly. <laughs> Let's just say if you had anything particularly spiffy in the... Uh, in in the region of uh, uh, probably not weaponry. She's got a good shield. I don't know boots or something, um, or alterations you can make to her armor. Uh, you probably owe Re a wedding gift. Looks at Alice. Mm. Looks at Revy. Well, I never thought I'd have the opposites attract, Max, improven quite so solidly. <laughs> right, so which do you prefer, by the way, crossbow or quarterstaff? Looking at Rylan now. The, I probably prefer the quarterstaff more. Hell, um, most part for anything wood, you'd probably want to go to Lanark, but I do tend to uh, add a few finishing touches to uh, some of his. So we'll have to see. You gonna you gonna throw this this poor this poor sod at Lanark as well? That you've said it, probably. Yeah, boy. <laughs> then the glance is at Barnabas. You finished all the you finished all the toffee yet? <laughs> Fudge. Uh, yes. Yes. <laughs> You're gonna buy more. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe well, not as much this time, but yes, definitely. Uh, go right ahead. I picked up what I want for the week. <laughs> <sighs> Before I go vanishing off into the back, does anybody have anything else they want to ask about? I don't think so. Mm. It looks, it looks at, what the hell did you do to your shield? It's us! <laughs> oh, by the forge. <laughs> he he went overboard like he do. I mean, it's I not think magical. It's... It doesn't do anything special, but it's us. You're going to have enemies thinking aim for the cupcake. Aim for the cupcake. Right, fine. Good. That's going to make battlefields uh, an interesting place. <laughs> And glances at Ava. What is? This? Oh my God! You found Bella. Huh? Pointing it to whom it may concern. Oh. Um. Yes. How is she? She seems pretty well. Yeah, one of the few of us who didn't retire up here. Agraf hasn't sent her completely around the twist yet. <laughs> oh. <laughs> was uh, I, I have to ask? Was she always that terrifying? Probably more so, depending on who you were. <laughs> I mean, if you didn't see her coming. I don't know if, if, the, if that would even qualify terrifying at all. It's just one minute you exist and the next you don't. 
her, her, her particular bit of fun, if I remember, was uh, uh, how she dealt with uh, scouting parties when the when they were a bit more human looking. It's amazing the substitutions you can make of uh, herbs for uh, of cookery herbs for knockout or outright poison. She is a sneaky little thing. Miranda was worse. So between <laughs> the two of them, you could wind up shutting out the entire ring of sentries in about ten minutes. Dang. <laughs> no wonder the diminutives were so blindsidingly effective. Sentries? What sentries? <laughs> Effectively, yeah. Those. Uh, it, it depended on whether we wanted to uh, just sneak through, get a named target and get out, or we wanted to cause absolute havoc. Most fun was uh, was uh, the occasions that Twilly would uh, use a mage hand and uh, slap a couple of horses' rears to spook them. You turn an you turn an entire encampment into absolute chaos, and then have your uh, stealthy ones uh, with poison darts and slitting throats. After tripping them up, but then again, they were usually diving for cover after. Uh, Miranda told me about once when individual actually dove for cover from the horses directly into hi her hiding place, didn't even see her. Just all of a sudden, throat was not there anymore. <laughs> 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 so, yeah, they, they, they were pretty damn effective. I just kept them armed and armoured. Those of them that wore it. And I am eternally grateful for that. Well, it does mean you got mums. And her her first her first three adoptees weren't even from Baronsphere. War orphans. That's how they got started. They saw these poor kids who had no no family, no home, were traumatized by what they'd been through. And decided to get a nice little farm in the country. Would have been nearer the hearth, but apparently Miranda's family was, uh, less than understanding about the whole thing. I hear that's improved somewhat now. Probably by way of a different person being nominally in charge. So they finally decided to stuff Minerva in a closet. Good. That's the best way I can describe it, because I haven't heard hide or a hair about her since. It's mostly just been uh, just making sure I get the name right. Uh, Martin? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's mostly just been Martin. So you went to Agref. It's yep. Focusing on Hazel name. How many of the cousins did you meet? <laughs> 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 Most of the swarm. Yeah, uh, when I yeah, when we when we when we come back from uh, from various campaigns on leave, uh, I, I, my parents didn't entirely understand what I was up to half the time, so uh, and sort of left me to it. So when we wound up in Egref, I was invited to family dinner. Halflings for miles. <laughs> <laughs> All right, before I, I go, before I, before I go into the back, does anybody need anything else? Let's we'll say, looks like it. I do have one question though. I know you meant for. Uh, I know you didn't mean for it holds up the hands with the bracers. These to be a thing. These. A. Do you think they might end up waking up? As re mentioned, they might. And I don't know. 
but uh, I mean, maybe this was it, and it wasn't an intended thing so much as a fate thing. I I can't even keep track half the time. And second of all, these are not made of metal. Neither is uh, neither is Ava's rapier. Uh, what are these made out of? And why are they hard enough to be like metal when the person attuned to them has them? Oh, I suppose it's I suppose given the sorts of things you're after, it's uh, best to know. Uh, those are effectively solidified magic. Okay. Excuse me. If you're gonna be a steel singer, rather than just a cleric of the forge, if you could call that just. Your last test is to travel to the Shattered Lands, where bits of coalesced magic can be found or mined, depending on what it is you're looking for, and forge them into a weapon, or in your case, a paired set of weapon. I wouldn't recommend anyone who's not dedicating themselves to the Forge to go and attempt to pick up bits of coalesced magic because it is very volatile, it is very unpredictable, and unless you want to spend the rest of your life as a rabbit again, some more, or worse, that's why there are so few steel singers. The last one who tried ended up smeared across about three continents. Mm. The other one turned into a swarm of hornets. We don't really know what happened to some of the others, but it it's a rare and difficult thing to become a steel singer. All right. So that's what they are. Once a steel singer's worked on them, they're not going to do anything difficult but they are probably more liable to awaken than anything made of metal so i don't really know again it's life will do what it will do and while the weapons that you bear that might wake up aren't alive in the sense that we understand it they are to a point uh, hmm? now that you, so so most so any of the weapons that you made that have a chance to awaken are probably made in part out of this coalesced no. magic stuff? No. Okay. You work with that once in your life. Got it, got it, got it. Okay. It's not safe. The reason that a steel singer can make things so unusual might have something to do with the fact that we've managed to harness that wild magic and a piece of it lives in us. But that's a philosophical point. I'm a bit more of a, a, a doing rather than philosophizing kind of a cleric. You. Pointing at Rylan. Uh... I know Radiant tends to be the thing. I don't know what I've got insofar as that goes. But beyond that, any particular uh, elemental affinities or uh, things you particularly like? Do shadows count as an element? Uh, I think close as you'd come is necrotic. It's not exactly bad. Well. It's just not it not hundred percent useful with some things. But on the other hand, anything mortal's probably not resistant or immune to it. I mean, we're not we're not okay. thinking about demons, devils, that kind of thing. But it's not on the list of you know fuck you immunities that dragons have. So you probably want something more along the level of 
And I suppose psychic also counts. Uh, we're talking, I mean, we're obviously not talking that black nonsense. So, no, uh, no. we're to we're talking we're talking more shadow fellish kind of situation. Very very much the shadow fell situation, yeah. Yeah, this is the first you guys are hearing about any of this, by the way. <laughs> just kind of looking right. at, looking at the two of them back and forth, just watching the conversation, just like, huh. Uh, Jenna's like, I think in which case psychic's probably better for you. Uh, this one's this one's got some psychic bolts, I think. I'll see what I've got in the back and uh, go uh, hunting uh, while you apparently explain a few things. Because you're getting looks now, sir. <laughs> thank, thank you. Uh, then just sort of... Oh boy. Hold, holds up a hand, reaches behind her desk, uh, pulls out a bottle and a small glass, shot glass kind of thing, twists it open, pours a measure in, hands it to Rylan. Just down. It's <laughs> effectively cinnamon vodka, so you're okay. <laughs> okay. I yeah the, the, yeah um we are actually coming around about to break time before so before we get started in on that so we will pause it for the moment at uh, I think all that noise is coming from Clarity's end yeah now it stopped so it's 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 a fan I think anyway uh -huh. yes uh it stopped now we're good but yeah um Jenna will retire to the back and go hunting for things. And when we come back, Rylan can have the floor. back uh, with uh, Jenna heading into her, uh, her 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 back room of wonders and you occasionally hear a bit of creak, rattle, clank clank <laughs> as things get moved around and everybody looking at Rylan yeah. Oh, right My turn to explain something, probably and Alice says, yeah, like, I, 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 to my credit, I didn't say anything. You walk in the sun oh, a bit worry. less. This is for them, not necessarily the... I'm stalling slightly. I work a lot with the shadows. That's just kind of where my magic came from, and I don't have a hundred percent of- I have theories, but I don't have a full explanation for it outside of family while I was very, very small, being very, very close to a place that leads directly to the Underdark. 
For A, Shadowfell. B, Alice going that fucking forest, guys. Mm. Their graveyard? Yeah. Who are you guys mourning? That's the only reason you spend that much time in a graveyard. I mean, if you don't want to say it, that's okay. I'm just... In case you want to vent. I honestly don't think I have an answer for that one. Too many people to count, or just somebody you never met because you weren't born when they died? More likely the latter than the former. That's fair. Must have been someone close to your mom, then. Probably very close. If the shadows took a hold on me as strong as they have. Believe me, the shadows didn't take as strong a hold on you as all that. It does a silent image and shows the hungry. Mm. That's Ooh. what happens when something gets a, something in the shadows gets a real hold on you. Good to know. Yep. Point taken. So Should don't worry, you're not. you're not you're not all that. It, it's not all that. We're not going to run screaming. Honestly, I would have been kind of surprised if you had at this point. <laughs> we actually went through that particular spot. Uh, well, I only went through once to get out. They all went through twice, once to get out. And before that, to get in, to get me. Because, mm. uh, 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 Ava's half-handbag, half-sister is a bit of a bitch. Yes, I am understating the case. A lot. That was probably one of the least fun anythings I've ever done. Don't she plane shifted me to the Shadowfell. Ah. Yes, you've only been sort of uh, exposed to leakage from the outside. I was in it. We were That's in where it. where we met the thing that was the yeah. image. And uh, that had didn't been... You, didn't you say something about an best approximation she can make of the squigs? The, the wretched. Oh, uh, yeah. And those are the ones that didn't have a particular focus when they landed. Uh, that The one you were fighting was probably exceedingly food-deprived, given it kept trying to stuff you into its face. It touches her shoulder with a, with a, where, where it tore a chunk out at one point. Yeah, and did a pretty mm. damn good job. I have to wonder what other kinds there are. If someone went, if someone landed there and was just so lonely, what would something that so desperately wants a hug that it resorts to murder would look like? I don't know. Uh, Hooks, wow. probably. Te barb tentacles yank. <gasps> Perma hug. <sighs> no, yeah. thank you. Sorry. Let's let's maybe uh, not uh, show up, Rylan. Uh, but. I mean, shadows are useful. And yeah. like we're saying, it's... You're not... You've got a little bit of shadow the way Darwin's got a little bit of Bahamut. I will ask about that later. <laughs> That's fine. Jenna's going to be in there for a while. She's... And you hear... Thump, 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 thump. She's digging. Also, you said you also had a crossbow. I, since I now have a slightly more oddball one that I got from supply and requisitions in the mercenary camp currently, currently in the fields on my family's farm, you will probably get more use out of these. I'm going to produce the three psychic bolts and then the three ice bolts than I will. Do not use the ice bolts on the white dragon. Yeah, I 
the, these won't do shit to the to, to, to the white dragon. I'm just making but sure here, we we I'm had the last to... the last wood elf we had probably wouldn't have known that. <laughs> oh god, <laughs> that bad. Good point to remind. Yes, he had issues. He had issues that make your issues look like nothing. Yeah, Ryland, you have now been handed three crossbow like bolts of yeah, three, ice three, and three like, of yeah. I th think you. Okay, I'll figure out what to do with these at some point. Uh, load them in the crossbow. You shoot things with them. Yeah. <laughs> that's I mean, kind of what I was say. ideally, that's. I mean. That's probably what's going to happen at the end of the day. <laughs> Just hearing the when the point. Alice is sort of walk... important. Which point? Alice walks up to Rylan and, and just goes hug. I... No, she doesn't mm. hug him. She asks, "Hug." Oh, please. Hug and <laughs> wings as well. So. For for a moment, at least, nobody is looking at you because wings are in the way. <laughs> and then, yeah, dis disengages, hug, pat, pat, pat. I thought I'd ask, but you really did look like you needed one. I think that expression is probably going to constantly be on my face for a little while. It's okay, you've got a group of really good huggers around here. So I have noticed... Hey, I'll tell you what. What we'll do is when we get back to the house, we'll tell the kids that you need some hugs to store <laughs> and take away with you. <laughs> <laughs> and then every time you need one and it's not convenient for any of us to hug you, you can just pull up the memory of that hug and it'll make you feel better. Good luck getting Evan off your leg. <laughs> yeah. It's about the only part he can reach, unless he drops <laughs> from the rafters or something. Which I wouldn't put it past him, so... Mm. Hug, well, how hug, did he get up there? Hugs from, climb. Yeah, hugs mm. from above. <laughs> yeah, you've this not used Evan. to that surprisingly fast. into anywhere. Yeah, uh, Evan takes, apparently takes after his mom. These guys have things to say about, uh, about Evan's mom. We only knew her briefly, but I still miss her. Apparently she stabbed a direwolf in the eyes. Jesus, the eyes are so... What now? Uh, yeah. No. Paris. Projectile. You know, you know hugs from above? This was less hugs than daggers. Uh, yeah. According to these guys, she landed on top of the wolf's back and daggers up. Shunk. No, both you 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 said this. Both hands shook. Then we blinked, and she wasn't there anymore. And the direwolf was kind of. She Kyle. was. She was apparently a really really sneaky woman with a for 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 a little woman with a head full of very very red very very curly hair. Really noted. These people make the most interesting friends. Case in point. Case in point. I was, I was going to say. <laughs> anyway, Rylan, you're st shadows, no shadows, whatever. Doesn't matter. You're Rylan, you're one of us. You're family. You're nervy, but you're trying, and that's... Given what some of what we've seen, that's a lot. Thank you. You've been adopted. <laughs> there you go. I thought that was obvious. <laughs> sure. In case it needs to be said, it's been said. All right, then. Apparently everybody can use more than one home family and group of yahoos, and this is one of yours now. You have a room! Yes, I do. I have I have a room. It was very nice. <laughs> Probably still is. It doesn't vanish just because you're not there. Object permanence is a thing. 
<laughs> there you go. I got a smile. Yes. <laughs> Bard fist bump. <laughs> <laughs> Here, I thought I was going to have to figure out a way to turn into a bunny again. That's always good for a chuckle. <laughs> well, you could ask one of the fairy dragons. Next time. Point? It's, actually, uh, I can actually, ask Dwight. Uh, that too. <laughs> uh, and I'm going to field that one. He mouthed off to someone he shouldn't have and was cursed to turn into a rabbit for anywhere between one to four hours every day. And somebody had to carry him every time that happened. Yep, and I only almost got squished once. <laughs> it was more. It was more. Of it. It, and it, it a little more often was when people weren't paying attention to how long he had been a bunny. Because I told them, you know, every you know, every hour or so, put him down because these things go in hour increments. And the times they forgot were the times that he turned into a human, generally while sitting on Ava's shoulder. <laughs> yeah. Still feel kind of bad about that. Sorry. Aww. I miss I like that. A pile of <laughs> well, I, I still will never forget the look on your face when it first happened and you found the bunny. I was very inspirational. That is one of my favorite <laughs> so To be fair, that story is probably why that punishment happened the way it did. So you are you are you are your your methods of lesson teaching are infamous now. I'm not sure entirely who decided bunny. I have I think one of them wanted cockroach. No, 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 no. It was if I tried to remove no, no, that, I would no. be turned into one. No, you, you did, you did tell me that there were some arguments about what exactly they were going to do. Hmm. Okay, I just yeah, yeah okay, I, I know exactly which one suggested cockroach. Oh, okay, right, right, right. But that was still an option. That was still on the table. It was still yeah. part and parcel of the whole thing. That's where I was getting yeah. my wires crossed there. No, I mean, it's, it's We've fine. We've been through a lot since then. <laughs> you have, and no, to be no. fair, you were probably more focused on, you know, oh shit, this again. I think the best one was the time you told us about when you had taken off one boot and were about to take off the other boot, and you <laughs> turned into a rabbit when with one boot being transformed and the other one you fell into. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> and that was attempting to was jump. Pair? I think it was this pair, as a matter of fact. You don't have that very many pairs of boots, so yeah. Also, the time you went to jump off the bed and forgot you were on the top bunk. Thank God I got caught. It's in fact, rabbits in fact cannot fly. I mean, I've yet to see a rabbit fly. <laughs> Well, there was the first time I got turned into one. I kind of, well, I was more thrown than flown, but still. <laughs> yeah, there, there is a minor difference between flight and heat. <laughs> True, but if you're in the air long enough, at some point it does qualify. I don't know exactly when, but it does. I think it's a depends. case of, it depends on whether or not you're doing it under your own power. <laughs> no, nah, not necessarily. I think it's more down to whether or not your arc of descent uh continues when you don't want it to. <laughs> Clarity I mean, casts silent image over Rylan's head to make bunnies with wings just flap around <laughs> in circles. <laughs> there you go. Clarity. Clarity, I love you. <laughs> when I see a You're bunny the best. fly. <laughs> They're gonna do that for like ten minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Which is around, and around this point, Jenna comes out with a with a, with a fairly simple looking crossbow. Looks at this and goes, "Should I come back later?" Nope, nope. Mm -hmm. This is a good time. Points at the point. Points at the flying bunnies. This is a good time. <laughs> They're just doing their thing. into the back room and shuts the door. <laughs> so 
So, when you say you can use shadows, what exactly do you mean by that? I... The best way I can think to explain it is... I use the shadows in a lot of different ways. Sometimes I'm using them to inflict some excess wounds on people. Sometimes I'm blighting them out of this reality. It's a surprisingly versatile, actually. Can you do the dog thing? Oh, you mean like the blink dogs? No. What is the... Uh, in on your character sheet, let me double check the thing. Oh yes, I can. Um, shadow sorcerer, shadow hound. No, I know. Hound of ill omen. Yes, but she wouldn't. That's the thing. Alice yes, would have heard I, I about. I can. I don't. I don't bring. Mm hmm. Okay, cool. I just. It's good to know these things. Yeah, dogs. I can... I have a <laughs> yes. I have a shadow dog. His name is Jackson. And now you point, have Claire's Alice... full and undivided attention. <laughs> Alice is like, uh, Jenna, is this a shadow dog free zone? Yes. If you want to show her the bloody shadow dog, take it outside! I was already going to, but thank you for the reassurance. I wasn't yelling at you! <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah, um, uh, mischief and whimsy and this one I don't think get along very well. <laughs> Maybe we should get the things and then go outside to do well, magic. Well, she yeah. would have given him the things, except she, I don't think she wanted to deal with him with the rabbits. Yep, so we need to do that. Dispel that first. <laughs> can we put the rabbits Where back up when we get outside? Me? All right. Dispel. I was quite Alice say, they've stopped playing silly buggers as much as they ever do. <laughs> Door opens. Walks up to Rylan, holds the crossbow out to him. I take the crossbow and just slowly looking it over. It looks really average. Um, and at this point, this is a really nice treat. <laughs> uh, yeah, except. Uh, uh, is the thing. Uh, it got two modes. Uh, takes the best part of six seconds to swap the modes. And one of them does not do well with specialized ammunition. Uh, cur current, cur mine. current mode it's set on, and add a character. I'll put this all on your character sheet, like, tomorrow or something. Uh, one mode, when you fire it, it makes you do that displace a beast thing. Oh. Were you harder to hit? That's nifty. Yeah, well, like your cloak. Oh, that's neat. And this oh, one, that's, nifty. that's that's one a day. That'll that that takes the day to recharge. The second one's the one that does not work with specialized ammunition because it charges the ammunition, which means that oh. if you miss, you waste. Sorry, what was the breathing? Because that was right in my ear. I'm sorry. That's okay. I, I, I just wondered which one because I wasn't. I was looking at. I was looking at facial journey, not at who was breathing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I hope all of you are to one degree or another because that seems useful. You know, breathing is kind of a necessity. Anyway. Yeah, uh, this one's got three charges only be per day. Only because uh, if you miss, then you've wasted the charge. So I had to do more than one. Uh, that one. 
if you hit, it's going to blind your target. Again, for about six seconds. That's still incredibly useful. <laughs> Thank you. I just called it Shadow Shot, so... Seemed to work. I quite like that. <laughs> that, 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 seems, that seems to be the, the general theme. The people people do seem to like the the named ones. I don't know if that one's gonna wake up because it a lot of it's wood, but it might. You never know. I will keep that in mind. I'll we'll just have to see how much it gets used. Uh, again, I think these two have proven the more you use it, the more likely you are to uh, figure out whether it's gonna wake up next and how. It might might be as how it decides what it needs to wake up to be based on what you're doing with it. Hmm. Might be. Head. And it's a philosophical thing I ain't got time for. So long as everything's working more or less as intended or better than intended is usually best. But, you know, I'm happy. And I'm happy with it, too. Uh, I'll let them explain to you what it is you're supposed to do insofar as payment goes. I think I'll waive the, uh, the cash costs for the moment. Which point Alice is just praise the forge. And if you've got anything woodsy or, like, you know, that could serve as neat and interesting kindling or, or something for 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 the for the forge here is is generally a good one if not don't worry about it i don't know if i have anything on me right now but if we, when we come back i'm sure i'll have a couple of loose things that can help out in the forge I remember these kinds of things I'm sure I'll pick something up. Alice I thinks about it for a moment. Bites her lower lip and yanks a feather. Ow! And hands it to Rylan. Give her this. I'm sure it'll go into something she'll make. And just like slowly take the feather. And it's It's gotta come it. from you. Well, mm. I figured as much and I hand and the feather. I could definitely work with this. Thank you. She says to Rylan, whatever else happens, if, it, if it's robbing Peter to pay Paul, she'll let uh, Paul deal with Yeah. Alright, I've got other shit to do, so uh, unless there was anything else? Uh, no, I think we covered it all. Right. Uh, yeah, if if you got time, do drop by again. But you know, obviously, you got to... you got shit to do as well. Mm -hmm. Best Thank of luck you. to you. Let let me know how anything else uh, does as it's doing. Do. Yeah. Yep. Out. You guys head into the remarkably quiet. Uh, Little town of Goldendale. A oh, little town of Goldendale, how still we see thee lie. <laughs> do you want to do you want to do the dog thing before we have to go into anywhere? Because I don't want to freak the natives. Yeah, that's. I'm gonna just. I. I'll just do that now. Let's. And I just kind of close my eyes for a second and turn a hand to the ground and then almost quite literally out of the shadows just this uh I had not settled on the breed of dog I was I'm, going to I'm, I'm, I am going to say at this point now we roll the hand of fate 
Yeah, I'm going to say Newfoundland. It's big, it's fluffy, and it's dark. <laughs> just, quite literally, out of the shadows. And I'm just, like, gently scratching his head. Oh. This is Jackson. Interesting. The dog is like, there's nothing to mull. What am I doing here? <laughs> oh, well, I'm getting scratches. Whatever. <laughs> if you want clarity, he's mostly friendly. Unless you want to punch him. And then he becomes very violent very fast. Yes, it's, it's, and if, when, when you get to, if you want to punch him, it's just lean back. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Clarity offers her hand, you know, for him to sniff. Yeah, he's, he sniffs, but if if attempted touching happens, it's not so much he shies away. It's I mean, he's a shadow. He's really only solid when he wants to be. So while Rylan can scritch him, Clarity's hand just kind of goes <laughs> like it would into a patch of shadow. So cool! <laughs> now she's invested. <laughs> You're a good shadow dog. Yes, you are. You're a good shadow dog. <laughs> it was Rylan, the what the fuck look again. <laughs> I don't. I don't know how, what to, how to explain this to you. She really likes animals. <laughs> glances at glances at Clarity, then glances at you. Say, if she really likes me, why the hell is she treating me like I'm stupid? <laughs> because on th that's a good question. Um. I oh, someday I may have an answer for you. Right now, I do not. He's but, just cute. You are very cute. I'll give her that. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of unimpressed. Yeah, but I actually have a brain. <laughs> kind of noise. Just. I'll win you over. <laughs> Is that a threat? <laughs> so no, you know. oh. And then just Boof This is a project now <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I think that was a threat oh. She's not gonna stop oh. <laughs> I'm just set her mind to it This, this, this is why whimsy. This is why whimsy. <laughs> Good to see you again, and we'll figure things out. I don't usually bring him out until we're actively fighting things, though, so that's uh, just a... It's, it, it mostly in corroboration. <laughs> Not really angry, just demonstrating that usually it's... It is very good at recordectomies of my enemies. <laughs> I, I beg your pardon. What was that? And ste step Jackson steps over to Barnabas, paws oh. on shoulders, and very, very gently, not breaking skin, a jaws on throat. Oh. Ah. <laughs> ah, I see. Glances, well, that, that, that would be quite effective. <laughs> yeah, re, re, yeah, yeah. Retract so doesn't have jaws on throat anymore. Looks over at Clarity like, I trust I've made my point, kind of look. <laughs> and then sits back down, trots back over to uh, trots back over to Rylan, sits. That. The dog. That's what I mean. I'll be friends. Look, you take some time. It's all right. 
did you create him, or did, is he... Kind of? I more... I, more accurately, I summoned him. Which probably Alice says, like, I think I've been hanging around with Clarity for too long, but now I want to see what he thinks of butterscotch. <laughs> I mean, did you show him butterscotch? Yeah, I think. Uh, I, think I think I did. I can't remember. But yes, you have out. shown me butterscotch above board. Yes, <laughs> and out comes butterscotch. And I held Jackson him to let him go running around. <laughs> uh, did still the slightly burned ear and just flailing paws like friend, 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 Happy friend, 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 <laughs> and, and Jackson's looking at this like. <laughs> The <laughs> fuck? And then looks up at Rylan like, "Can I eat it?" <laughs> no. Do I? No, I don't suppose I read that. Well, no. It's it, this is a very this isn't quite the psychic bond between a familiar and a wizard, but it's kind of close. Mm -hmm. So it's really only Rylan who gets the nuances of. Mm, I see. He doesn't look super impressed. So I'll just put in that. <laughs> But still poking out of the back, like friend. friend. Stay there. It's, it stays with head poking out of the bag. <laughs> you're still, but you're still getting the occasional glance back at this thing, and then looks over. Can I in in, in that look that Tyrion says, "Can I eat it?" No. no <laughs> These people will be really mad at me if you try. He sigh. <laughs> We'll get you some meat in a little Did while. Did you want to eat right? butterscotch? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> At which point, Alice you A turns... not like him. Uh... He's not flat. At which point, Alice A turns around to Jackson and speaking like she does to Legolas or basically any other animal she comes across. Like, uh, it's actually, butterscotch is made of fluff, so you probably wouldn't enjoy that very much anyway. Looks at Alice A. Looks at Rylan like... Okay, this one doesn't treat me like I have no brain. This is okay. Still. How far can how far can how far can Jackson get from you? I'm reading. Uh, Hector. I don't think there's a limit. It doesn't say. Just double check on the thing, and I doubt there like, is. But... Like there's a dis there is a range of how far it can target something, but that's as close as it gets to an actual like distance. <laughs> Very much combat boy. Well, if you want to send him out to mull something, uh, I'm sure there's a squirrel someplace. Is that okay with you? Just looking down at... And this sort of a, may I go hunting? Yes, yes, you can go. Zoom! Doesn't leave tracks! And the next thing you hear from around a building is the uh, loud, unfortunate wail of a very uh, inconvenient squirrel. <laughs> So that's Jackson. <laughs> Jackson, so, uh, Jackson so comes back and, and looks. Can I go away now? <laughs> if you want to, yes, you can. And back into the shadow. Cool. Certainly impressive. I don't want to know how far he spread that squirrel across the snow, but. <laughs> It's probably very far. Really, really far. Made of shadow, how does he eat? Mm. He can be some degree of corporeal at will. Like how but, I'm able to give a literal shadow head scratches, for example. Um, no, there's a slight difference between um, head, chances, head scratches and a fully functioning digestive system. That's... Fair Is that enough. why your your pets seem to connect, but Clarity's didn't? I think Maybe. it just didn't want the 
I think I think Jackson just didn't want Clarity's pettings to connect because it connected mm. with the squirrel pretty well. Mm-hmm. Sounds Maybe about because he's shadow stuff, he just absorbs it. Maybe. I'm not sure if that's better or worse. Oh, We've seen weirder nonsense. After yeah. all, we met Bitey. Yeah, that's sure. Oh, the Bitey wasn't that weird. Not ask. Purple worm. Why that would tried to have several of us for lunch? We didn't I... name him. Then who did? Surprisingly. Natural philosophers. They were studying purple worms. They, in what fact, didn't actually want us to... They were actually trying to get us not to kill Bitey because it was wrecking their breeding program. It was going to do uh, some potential damage to the ecosystem or something, I don't know. But we had to give blood samples to those little weirdos. Mm. I don't remember. Did we explain the bit about... Uh, did, did you tell us whether or not you've been to Agraf? He had not Did you stop in Agraf? If memory serves me, no. You went no. straight to your 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 forest touch sent you straight to uh, the the outskirts of Alamavere. So, yes. no, you missed out on Agraf. We cannot really explain Agraf to you. Mm. Yeah, the na it's the natural enough. philosophers thing and biting that that just just add that to the category of Agraf. Noted. They study things and make things. Except unlike Jenna, um, they're perfectly happy with whimsy, mischief, and a their their provincial motto is science is not the answer. Science is the question and the answer is always yes. <laughs> I've always if they, thought if it, the agraph, it can happen here. Uh, you remember those weird sugar beans that Hazel was being fed at, at, at Lyra's? Mm hmm. Yeah. Those are from Agraf. Ah. Basically, the, if you could think of something, that it probably, of anything, it probably exists there. <laughs> the thing that gave me the wings okay. that turned out to be permanent when they weren't meant to be? Made in Agraf! Mm. <laughs> it's where... Well, this in Agraf is not so a point to... Yes, you did. But at the same time, we can blame uh, one of Jenna's uh, uh, associates for that one. It's mom's point of origin, too. It, 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 that's why I have cousins there. The swarm. I still, I, said, think, I still think you take to it better than Aaron did. We should probably show you it when things are a bit calmer. Probably. And yes, things will be a bit calmer. Eventually. Eventually. Okay. You have to clear out the handbag infestation first. But in the meantime, before we start heading back, because it's going to start getting dark soon, but uh, we should at least make sure that uh, Barnabas gets his fudge. And... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Did we want to see Is it with you and well, fudge exactly? Probably not, no. Uh, okay. Let's, let's, let's leave him so. to it for the time being. It's not really a priority, but uh, yeah. depriving Barnabas of his sweets is a bad yeah, idea. Yeah, no, exactly. <laughs> that man is fueled by literal barrels of it. Mm, it runs on more than that. Right, Barnabas? I, um, if I'm being honest, sort of. Okay, only when it only when it's available, and it, from the sounds of things, uh, mercenary plus his previous profession, a lot of the food wasn't worth it, so he needs a lot of fast burning energy. Yeah, he, man he manages he manages to get the staying power protein stuff in actual meals, but sometimes you just need to put some sugar in your face. Yeah, let's go with that. Fair. 
It's like when you go on a performing binge. <laughs> yeah. We yeah. 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 And yes, uh heading over to the uh local sweet shop, which is is in fact open. Um empty except for uh, for Ella, but open. A uh, dwarven woman, um on the young side of middle aged, uh still looks a little Little at sea, but then again, given dwarven ages, she probably lived with Edwina for a good long time. Looks at y'all when you walk in, makes a certain squeaking noise when the wings uh, turn up, and then Barnabas comes in, and she's back on familiar ground. <laughs> wow, I've never seen a face like that grin that much at me. Um. Hi. Hi. I uh tried something new. Uh because I had a feeling you'd be back at some point. I will give you a sample if you like. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> Pads off into the back, comes back with a tray. Uh it got about ten chunks of thing on it. It's uh not quite a butterscotch color, it's a little bit darker of uh, fudge mm -hmm. light. Take a piece, pass it back. He tries it. M maple walnut. Ooh. Oh, this is good. I've been this trying I've been trying new flavors. I if you had any ideas of things I could try, that's uh hmm. Let's get a fudge. I'll keep that in mind. I don't have anything popping to mind immediately, but I will definitely keep that in mind. At which point, uh, Alice says, like, don't you still have the stuff we got in, you got in Agriff? I do. Oh, right. Yeah, I do. Yes, I'm, I'm going to say that Alice would have badgered you into making a small sampler selection to give to Ella when you got there and you just forgot about it in the face of maple walnut hey, there's maple walnut fudge you expect him to remember anything come on <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah you've got alice a with the reminder of you remember that pack i get I, I got you to set up oh oh yeah yes uh yeah this is some samples of some stuff we found out that we got that i picked up while i was out in it uh yeah uh sorry no no that that's all right it's and um it, obviously people are uh we get some of the usual orders, but uh, it's nice to have a reason to make that amount of things. Some of this looks very interesting. Um, I'll have to have a taste through it and see what I can uh, approximate. For Rylan! For you, sweets are basically relegated almost entirely to maple-related things, because that's where you get your sugar. Now, obviously, you know that other stuff exists. You, if nothing else, you were in Demille and you've been to Hearthhome. But you have never seen a shop devoted 100% to sweets that are not uh, entirely maple. I mean, to be fair, you haven't seen many shops. But there's little multicolored globes of things, little sticks of things also multicolored. There's a uh, couple of barrels of they're odd they look squidgy and clear but multicolored and they're in the shape of bears and uh, a rack with uh, little little dividers in with more of those beans that, uh, that, that, that Hazel had except probably not in the same weird flavors but it's an old time sweet shop it's just for Ryland, this is an entirely new situation. Alice, Alice, you really Alice, never did go out of the woods. Alice just kind of slides a gold over to Ella. Can you put our friend together a sample pack, please? Of course. Give, give him a chance to uh, 
select a little of everything. Probably go heavy on the maple and the apple. I think you'd probably be more comfortable with those. And start scooping things into... Uh, she, she, she just while she's doing that, she gestures Barnabas towards the fudge display. Uh, save me, save me two pieces of each for uh, for your friend. But beyond that, help yourself. So, how much is there? Uh, about the same as there was last time, with a bit extra because of the new maple walnut flavor. So, a good a, a total. Uh, Basically, you could fill the same sack slightly more, but you could still fill the same sack by buying out the entire place. <laughs> Remember, it's a small sweet shop. She doesn't keep that much on the floor. Everyone looking at Barnabas can, they see, can literally see this conversation going, I really shouldn't, but I want <laughs> At which point, Alice is just going, she expects you to. Then, I, then he's going to buy the same sack and buy it out again. <laughs> yeah, uh, hopefully still saving the two she asked him to for Oh, of Rylan. course. Yeah, okay, cool. So, yeah. And uh, while Rylan is still staring, he has a dwarf pat up to him and hold out a mid-sized bag. Oh, that's a lot. That's a lot of sweets. Take the bag. You don't have to eat them all at once. They don't spoil. Slowly taking the bag. It's already paid for. Don't worry about it. Pet, 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 pet. How? And Alice says, just you're welcome. Get used to it. Better how yet. Much, how much yeah, is better yet, don't. Again? <laughs> Three gold, if memory serves me correctly. Better yet, don't. It's more fun. I'm going to make my way over. Take a look at the bag. Oh, his. Uh, uh, the, the, the Ryland's bag or Barnabas's bag? Uh, Rylands, because the he has some of the tea globes, right? Uh, not the green tea globes, but uh, the there's ones that are probably the cranberry apple globes, and there's one that is a bit more the color of apple cider. So she's apparently tried something new this time. <sighs> produce one of the produce the new one because I'm I'm just going looks like apple cider and just into Rylands' mouth. I mean, my jaw is open, so that's pretty easy to do. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, that's a nat 20 on that, on the hand of fate. You do not choke on it. <laughs> <laughs> but it does taste like apple cider. Holy shit. It's a, a boiled sweet kind of a kind of a thing, so... There we go. Finally unpaused him. Yeah, from, no, from... If anything, you've just turned the... I am operating on half speed for a moment. Yes, and Ella is just, well, 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 making sure that Barnabas's uh, purchases are properly packaged and probably bringing out some of the green tea globes for, for Seth, who, while he probably hasn't eaten that many of his, does have to wonder if Faraday's tried them yet. So, maybe he can spread them around some. But either way, uh, it says Ella explaining there's there's the new uh, apple cider uh, sweets, the uh, cranberry apple sweets uh some of the licorice both the uh, uh, the black and the strawberry there's some of our sugar beans i understand you have some more of the interesting ones from where they originated in agref uh there's some apple bonbons strawberry bonbons um a few bits of our maple and hazelnut brittle and the specialty of uh, our little shop the squidgy bears Thank you. This is a this is a lot. Oh, okay. This is new. New isn't entirely bad. I suppose that's true. <laughs> and Alice is just there's going to be a lot of news. Some of it's going to be good, some of it's going to be exceptionally bad, 
take the wins where you can. Oh, I, I'm very much taking this while I have it. And there's the fudge that uh, Barnabas seems to appreciate so very much. Again, uh, Ella from behind the counter. We also have some woolens, but uh, you seem to have yourself uh, properly put together. I like your scarf. <laughs> thank, thank you. Uh, we are we are also the local purveyor of uh, wools and uh, knitwear. Not as much since uh, Auntie Edwina passed, but uh, I'm trying to pick up where she left off. That's very kind of you. The town needs us, and I I don't know if it's I don't know if it's a detriment or a or a a good thing, but I am marginally less grumpy. She liked everybody, really. She just missed home. Uh, understandable. Very, very understandable. <clears throat> she was very... She was very fond of, of your friend Froseth, just because he did actually understand and spoke Dwarven to her from the very first. I don't know it as well, but it was her native language, and she hadn't heard anyone speak it properly in a while. Unfortunately, us hearth hearts were a little too rambunctious. No, she liked that. She just couldn't show it because it was more fun for them if it felt a little forbidden. That sounds bad, ah. right? You know, I, I may be just her niece, but that doesn't mean she never had children of her own. <laughs> that is very true. Uh, so, anything for anyone else, or uh, did uh, offerings in, uh, in, 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 in points elsewhere uh, spoil your appetite for the simpler things? I think I've got some like strawberry candy of some kind last time. Yeah, um, I mean, and the the last time you went to a shop in Egriff, you got some of the strawberry sweets for Dawn. But mm. then again, if any of you wanted to treat the kids, this is a local shop. This is the one mm. where you turn around and can actually say, "Do you know what X's favorite candy is?" And she'll be able to tell you. Uh -huh. Um, given the weird beans I've got, uh, I'm going to approach and, uh, produce the bag of weird. I got these in Agraf, and I've, and they're kind of like that, but the flavor combinations are nothing short of a little bit bonkers. I figured, uh, you might be able to get something out of this little bag of madness. Oh, for pity's sake. She very, very carefully takes out <laughs> one. It's, it's sort of a... a, a it, it's a darkish shade of green. Munch. Munch. Why would I want spinach? <laughs> no, thank you. And that's what that one is. I'm going back to the ones Lyra explained to me and looking for, for one or two of those. No, no, thank you. Thank you. I think I'll stick with flavors that I can actually do. Thank you. I'll yeah. leave that kind of thing to Egriff and actually pulls out one of the apple cider sweets and into her mouth to try to take away some of the taste. <laughs> Good plan. Aggressive. Sorry about that. About it is a literal bag of madness. No, uh, no, please put the bag of madness away. Bag of madness goes away. I'd like to go ahead and get Evan um, a little something aside from uh, just a grabbing handfuls of the squishy bears. <laughs> I'm pretty well certain that's one of his favorites. 
Well, if, if well, to give other people, if nothing else. Well, it's one one of those situations where if if you're heading for the uh, for the squidgy bears with uh, Evan in mind, it's just those are his favorites for gifting. Do you want what he likes for himself? Yes. And walks up to a, a jar towards the back, heaves it onto the counter. It's those same sweet globes, but they're on sticks. It's lollipops again. We have them in a we have them in a small variety of flavors. He's been particularly oddly, but if he, that's what he likes, I I I I I will make them. Uh, uh, and this odd sort of winter green and rosemary combination that he just calls the taste of green. <laughs> that's the ah! That's the taste of green. Ah! <laughs> yes, yes. I will let I, I, a good, a good. Uh, I'll put together a half dozen. And yes, that thank will. You. Yes, <laughs> that that will be five silver. It's on, only because it's a bit and of an the... odd combination. Yeah, I'm gonna pull back and let everyone else figure out who they're getting stuff for, and just lean on clarity. <laughs> Yeah, I'd probably ask which uh, Dawn's favorite is. Things and there are these kind of cylind cylindrical, slightly squishy, almost licorice textured uh, clumps. Really, um, a little darker red than your standard strawberry. Uh, they're a cherry flavored licorice, but I think she likes the texture and the general shape of these. I can give you a two silver bag. Yeah, that sounds fine. Sometimes that for her. Hey, Clarity. I know that uh, I, was, I remember sweets not really being Kander's thing, but you want to ask? Well, Kander doesn't like anything from here, does he? Well, as far as I understand it, um, he would never admit anything along those lines, but uh, apparently the last time um, one of the girls pressed uh, something on him, we have these um, maple roasted cashew nuts. Mm. I can that give you a really good. I can give you a two silver bag of those. I'll take two bags, one for him and one for me. Put them together and uh, Thank you. Hey, Rosa, tag in. <laughs> He's all. Yeah. She already. She already handled that for Rosa. As far as I know, anyway. Did oh, you not see the bag something, handoff? Unless there's something no, specific the for. And I was just remembering that. Usually those are the globes specific to Froseth. I'm considering certain kiddos. Well, um, these days, uh, anything with blueberries, Skylar's uh, uh, absolute. Uh, Farida cannot settle on a favorite. Every time she comes, it is specifically two pieces of everything in the shop. <laughs> Two small pieces of everything in the shop. She cannot settle on just one thing. And then she comes back the next time and she asks me what I did different to make it taste so much better. And takes notes. That is so delightfully analytical and just like Vern, I love it. <laughs> Froseth, your sister is incredible. I love her. Hmm. Yeah, so we've got something for Skylar then, and... Uh, I've started doing bonbons in blueberry. She likes those. So, okay. I guess I've just my two silver bags of those. Other things with her. Alice, I get to 
good sized bag of uh, apple bonbons and yeah the the kids have we've got a lot of stuff from the kids from uh, from our travels so i'm not as worried about that but uh, i'm going to see if i mean i know that for horses apple and sugar cubes and apple bonbons are just kind of a combination of both so why not see if legs likes it That certainly seems fair. It's, uh, it gave Froseth quite the ride, so why not? Alan, do you want to ride him on the way back? He'll probably be walking alongside us, so uh, shouldn't worry about uh, going too, too fast. Or not. I was just thinking you could munch sweets on Mooseback. <laughs> and here I am thinking that 24 hours ago that would not have been a coherent sentence to come out of someone's mouth. Would have been because you traveled with the people for two weeks. They probably put you in one of the sleds, but they could have asked. Fair enough. So it's not that um, weird. Um, no. Right, the moose? Why not? <laughs> <laughs> cool. So, assuming everyone is done with their shopping, because we are getting to around that time, um, last thing that happens before you leave the town of Goldendale is Alice opening the bag of apple bonbons and offering to Legolas. Big snoot. Snoof. Snoof. Yarmf. Bag and all. <laughs> oh boy. Bag is oh. gone. Yarmf. I guess you I should have got a bigger bag. It's success. <laughs> <laughs> and does the little, uh, you know, makes a basket with her hands for Rylan to, to help Rylan up, because that's a very tall moose. That is a very <laughs> tall moose. Yeah, and so, hop, yeah, no. and boop, on to Legolas. Like riding a U-Haul van from the top. Yeah, that. How did you get exactly into my head to create the same image I was already thinking of? <laughs> I'm psychic. <laughs> uh, that explains it. That that explains why he's so weird. He's been in that my explains head. How you built that stupid time machine? I was actually more thinking if he's been in my head that things in there have probably driven him crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad anyway, you first. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, um you wind up heading back in the direction of Hearthome with uh Rylan on Mooseback nomping the kind of sweets that Rylan has never tried before. And some are probably a little more successful than others. Uh, some he recognizes better than others. Um, but on the whole, it's a new and interesting experience having sugar without maple in it. And when, very briefly, before we sign off for the evening, uh, when riding back into the dooryard, um, the door around... The hearth home main house is woven all around with flowers you know full damn well do not grow in this at this time of year. Uh, which probably means oh. Twilly has brought out some magics or something. And there's a little sign uh, on the top. Uh, again, it might be an illusion for all you know. Uh, congratulations, Alice and Remy. <laughs> Party within. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no. Okay then. <laughs> Party! At which point. This Al tracks. Alice turns around to Froseth. How long have you known about this? Basically, just before I met, left to meet with you. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for not telling me. I would have stressed about it all day. Oh. <laughs> So where, at, at, at which point she uh, just looks at Re, uh, give, gives her a kiss and just, well, mm. be prepared to be in the center of attention again. Remy 
wraps her arm around Alice's waist to make sure that she's sharing the center of attention. I have to go put Legolas away before that happens. Oh, <laughs> then I'm waiting for you. <laughs> <laughs> Let's let them blaze the trail and they can join in on whatever greeting we're going to get. <laughs> so on that note, we'll see you again in two weeks' time when you guys get to spring a second wedding reception on Remy and Alice A, because <laughs> this is the Hearth Hearts, and the Hearth Hearts be like that, and we will eventually get to dragon slaughtering, but this is just too cute. <laughs> so, I'll see you all in two weeks' time when we'll probably at least get in the general direction of dealing with dragons. <laughs>